campus to the provincial fiscus. The problem is even getting worse despite intervention measures. And recently, a woman gave birth outside a health center after being sent home. This is a spot outside Itusen Health Center where 21-year-old Jane Kosi Mang gave birth to her son a fortnight ago. She sought medical treatment after feeling sick. Just after a scan, she was told to go home because she was not yet due to give birth. Just outside the premises, the infant made his way into the world. It's left the school-going mother traumatized. I'm heartbroken because this matter is even on social media and it is affecting me at school because other learners are gossiping about me. I can't even concentrate at school. The family believes it's a clear case of medical negligence. I am very upset because I made an effort to take my child to the clinic. When I got there, they didn't treat me well, like I'm an irresponsible mother. Now I look like an irresponsible mother because my child gave birth on the streets. I want them to pay. Recorded cases of medical negligence have increased from 27 to 53 in the last four years at cost of more than 41 million rand to the province. Last year alone, 20 million rand were paid to settle litigations, compared to less than 1 million rand four years ago. Staff shortage is a major factor, forcing health professionals to perform multiple tasks. But experts who are going to sit on the panel to, to, to look at, at, at every case, that it is not necessary all the time to go to court. Where we believe we are wrong, we will settle. Uh, but where we think that it, it's something that can be challenged, we will do so. The other thing is good record keeping. An electronic health record system is, is the one that will help us because the disappearance of files by some of our members of staff will stop. Provincial health authorities are investigating Jane Kosimang's case. Muitsi Masibi, SABC News, Itzuseng in Northwest. Police uh, search and rescue divers may be forced to abort.